welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad to have you with us again today uh, for our Ask an Artist program. Believe it or not, we have been at this for almost a year and we have come back around and we are at the time where we're revving up and getting ready to uh, start our annual Night of Artists art show, sale, and exhibition. And today we're talking with one of our wonderful artists, Zhang Zheng. Um, Zhang, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for participating. We really appreciate it. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to, uh, and your work to come and be with us. It's uh, always so much fun. We were, we're able to, particularly with Night of Artists, get some real insight into the work that you all send, uh, things that you've been preparing for for such a long time. And it's, it's just a pleasure to have you with us. Um, so today now, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. You say you're, you're up north of Dallas right now? Yes. Are you from Dallas originally? Yeah, I actually come from a totally different background from China. Oh. And, and then I went to uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, Tulane uh -huh. University for my master's degree over there. Uh -huh. And uh, I've been there for almost eight years before I moved to Dallas area. After a few years, work for the uh, advertising company. Then I started uh, the you know, professional artist career. <laughs> really? As yes, bravely to do that. And um, yeah, oh, that's excellent. So yeah. now what, what made you shift into that professional arts career? As you say, that's a big leap to take. Um, what, what made you decide that that's what you, that's what you wanted to do full time? Uh, because I love uh, art since I was a little and uh, start to so a lot of people and horses. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was uh, in elementary school, we, we, don't, we didn't have uh, like a school bus to go to school. We always have to walk. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and uh, on the road over there, you always see a lot of horses, uh, the farmer's horses. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, started to love to draw the horses. And uh, many years later, after I moved to uh, Texas, I never think about uh, to do cowboys. This is a culture over here. Huh. Oh, that's just totally opened my eye. And uh, since then I start to, you know, visit a lot of ranches uh -huh. and see the real cowboys, the real horses. That's fascinating. No. As you you were able to learn about the cowboys and go to these ranches, did you learn to ride horseback yourself? Yes. Yeah, they, they're so nice. They allow me and teach me how to ride a horse. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I'm not that good. You know, I can't do like like uh, you know fast running or rodeo. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's was, it was too much scale to me. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, glad to hear it. And one of the things I've noticed uh, last few years is some of the stylistic work that you've been doing. Um, mm -hmm. It's a little bit different. It's not, not the large, complex scenes. There's a real um, uniqueness to it that I think people are loving right now. Uh, one of your pieces uh, I really enjoyed this year is called Morning Night. So tell us a little bit about this, this style that you have uh, last I'd say probably the last three years have done some sort of variation on this, including this one. Tell us You're a little right. bit about it and what is, what's inspired it. Yeah, this, because uh, uh, I always, like I said, I always try to do some different compositions and subjects. And uh, as you know, I did a lot of uh, large complex compositions, but recently I just uh, started to do this kind of a bird eye view composition uh, is totally different uh, from uh, the traditional Western art. Uh, you see, it's just like a, from a bird, from a sky to look at them. Mm -hmm. And then you, you feel that the uh, cowboys and the longhorns stand out from the very simplified background, which is ground. Your work this style work especially has a real, real contemporary feel to it. It, it reminds me of um, not too far from where I grew up and out in Utah, uh, uh -huh. just west of the mountains out there, there's this stark flat uh, remnant of an inland sea and it's just a salt flat. And so it's just 
flat white ground as far as the eye can see. And yeah. you really can see it does. It makes every color and every form really pop. And so it brings those your subjects into focus. Right. You don't lose anything from it. It's just, it really is fantastic. Well, right. Jean, thank you so much for your for your time. Thank you for your stories and talk, talking to us. Um, we really appreciate it. And we're really looking forward to seeing your work this year at Night of Artists. Uh, I just, it's going to be a fun show. And it's going to be a beautiful show. And we're very glad to have you be a part of it. Well, and uh, so everyone is aware, all of you watching, please join us. We uh, will, we are getting ready for our um, Night of Artists exhibition and sale. It's going to run. Um, you can see the, uh, the gallery up online right now off of our website. Uh, we're mm -hmm. adding new pieces all the time. So please be sure to check that out. In addition, our Night of Artists exhibition and sale begins March 27th, 2021, and it will run through May 9th. So please come check it out. Uh, thank you so much uh, again, Zhang, and for all of you watching, we look forward to seeing you all hopefully very soon at the museum. Oh, thank you so much for having me here.